Okay, guys, this is the last problem that I'm going to be doing on this worksheet for you guys. I'm going to leave six, seven, and eight for you guys to finish. You'll need to balance the equation and then figure out the answer to the problem. So right here, you have how many grams of nitric acid is needed to react completely with 2.25 moles of magnesium in the following reaction. Okay, so you're starting with mag moles of magnesium and want to know how many grams of nitric acid are going to be needed. All right, so it uh, doesn't change how I'm going to build my roadmap. So I'm starting with moles of magnesium, okay? Check your roadmap if you don't believe me. We're going to go from moles of magnesium to moles of nitric acid to grams of nitric acid. When we're going from moles to moles, we are going to use the mole ratio. When we are going from moles to grams, we are going to use the molar mass. Just follow your molar map, please. Okay, so I know that I'm going to need the molar mass of uh, nitric acid. So I'm going to put it over here just to kind of keep it out of the way. So I have one hydrogen, I have two nitrogen, and I have three oxygen. Okay, so if we add them all up, we have 48 plus 28, 48 plus 28, oh, plus my minuscule 101. I end up with 77.01. Don't forget that is grams per mole. Okay, that is the molar mass of nitric acid. Okay, let's go. We have 2.25 moles of magnesium put it over one okay you know that you're going to do two conversions mole of magnesium we need to use the mole ratio to figure out our moles of nitric acid mole of magnesium in the numerator mole of magnesium in the denominator mole of nitric acid on top please take a look at your balanced equation i have a two to one relationship, okay? Don't forget, you're getting it from the coefficients that are in your equation. That's where that number came from. Now I'm trying to make my way to grams of nitric acid. So I have moles of nitric acid in that numerator, which means I need moles of nitric acid in this denominator, which leaves me with grams of nitric acid in the top. And now we are going to use the number that we calculated. So one mole is going to be 77.01 grams. Check your units. Make sure they cancel and you are where you were supposed to be. Moles and moles, moles and moles, and now I'm at grams. Okay, so we followed our molar map properly. And as long as our calculator does what we want it to do, we should come up with the right answer. So how to key this into your calculator, put 2.25 Multiply by 2, multiply by 77.01, and you should get an answer. The answer that I got is 346.55. Don't forget your unit, gram of nitric acid. And that is the answer to number 5. Okay, hopefully it was helpful me going through those five problems. Uh, please attempt 6, 7, and 8 by yourself. And please make sure that you balance your equation as well, or else you will not get the correct answer, okay? Hopefully that was helpful. If you need some more help, you know where I live. All right, bye.